have a good day. Oh, hello, LA Beast here. And over the years, one of my main goals and focuses have been trying to figure out the mystery behind the elusive brain freeze. And with every single challenge I've done to try and conquer the brain freeze, such as when I stuck my dome into a fish tank filled with freezing cold ice cold water, or when I tried to inhale down this ginormous ice cream cone, uh, but in the process, because the brain's freeze was so bad, I passed a freak out. <sighs> I have 100% been unsuccessful in my journey. And that all ends right here, right now, today. Because I'm a genius. Now today, I'll be utilizing ice cream. But instead of doing things the old scientific way, I'm actually going to change the scientific properties of the ice cream utilizing molecular gastronomy. And if everything goes according to plan, sitting right here, right now, I will become the first ever human being in record time to consume the world's hottest, hottest ice cream cone. And in case you're wondering how I'm gonna do this, I'll, I'll show you right now. Now the first step in making the world's hottest, hottest ice cream, uh, I just chose to use plain vanilla straight from the freezer. This is a solid frozen block of vanilla ice cream. And I'm gonna use my temperature gun to get the core temperature, which would be 7.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and just for good safety measures to show that this is in fact freezing ice cream, 6.6 .6 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to put it in the blender cup and start to liquefy the vanilla ice cream. End of step one. Now the ice cream was so frozen solid that the blade on the blender would not rotate and the blender wouldn't turn on. So I had to fix it like I just did. At this point, things were looking good. The ice cream was starting to blend down. I just needed to add a little bit more to maximize the total amount of scoops for my final ice cream cone. At this stage, the ice cream is blended up nicely. We're gonna take one final temperature check just to show that the ice cream is still freezing, 25.7 degrees Fahrenheit. On to step number two. We're going to take the methocell A4C, uh, also known as methocellulose, and utilize some molecular gastronomy. Uh, and all methocell really does when I'm adding it to the ice cream, uh, it thickens the ice cream and, and forms, or kind of turns the ice cream into a gel. Uh, and the crazy thing is, uh, when methocell is heated or set on fire, it does not melt. Uh, so the methocell will allow me to bake my ice cream in the oven uh, a few steps ahead here. Uh, on to step number three. Technically, uh, I am making the world's hottest, hottest ice cream by adding some uh, flaming Hot Cheetos. Uh, and until uh, somebody else decides to do this after me, maybe then they can make the world's hottest, hottest ice cream. But um, add some spice, we're gonna blend this up, uh, and then we're gonna prepare to, to put the ice cream into the oven and finalize my science project here. And the final temperature before I put this into the oven is 65.3 degrees Fahrenheit. So my Methocell AC4 Flamin' Hot Cheetos uh, concoction uh, was warming up a little bit, but still pretty cold. Uh, and it's actually, it's pretty interesting. I put my Methocell ice cream into the oven for roughly 10 minutes uh, at, at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And as you're about to see, it will not melt, which is pretty cool.
All right, so I just finished the process of making my hot ice cream. Uh, I put it in the oven on roughly 200 degrees for about 10 minutes or so. I have my sweet uh, red cone, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some linguine noodles and hopefully uh, start scooping. It smells real delicious. Uh, start scooping. I don't know if you can see it, but there's definitely steam coming off the hot ice cream right out of the oven. Is that 100? 128 degrees, 128 degrees. It's, let's try not to touch this. I'm just going to build the world's hottest, hottest ice cream cone and then call it a day. It's like an ice cream muffin. Just shut up and build the cone. Final temperature. All right, 100, 116 degrees. I am the LA beast. And this technically is the world's hottest, hottest ice cream cone. Whatever temperature I just checked it in at is what it was. I'm sweating here. LA beast, brain freeze. F <laughs> you. Have a good day! I'm eating hot ice cream. It's actually, it's not bad. I can taste the vanilla and, and there we go. I can taste flaming hot Cheetos. It's like uh, definitely jellified. Blah. Correct, it's like when I dump out Sweet Sue's whole chicken in a can. You know what? World record time. Going down to 94 degrees. Oh my God, okay. And you know what? At the end of the day, in conclusion, um, I just, I legitimately just ate the world's hottest, hottest ice cream cone, technically, uh, until somebody beats me. I'm sure somebody could put ghost peppers in there, uh, but, but I, you know what? I haven't seen anybody else in the entire world do what I just did. LA Beast, I'm a genius. I overcame the ice cream brain freeze. And, and, and I'm here today to say, LA Beast, have a good day. I'm sweating profusely. Oh man. Uh, you know what, I've never sweat from eating an ice cream cone before. Yeah. All right, again, if, if anybody wants to try this, uh, I got this from Modernist Pantry. This is Methocell A4C. Uh, and all the A4C means is that uh, it adds thickness. That uh, pretty much again, uh, it's like it's weird. I jellify. My finger's not even going through it, but I jellified ice cream. Now it's sticking in my hand. It's like a weird texture. That is flaming hot Cheetos ice cream.